So if there is anybody out there who's a visual thinker and sometimes your visuals can be very negative, you know, graphic, unsettling, to a point where you think you actually have to do something about it. Um, yeah, I think that, 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 that this aspect of being a visual thinker, especially maybe on the, on the spectrum, is far more common than anybody can realize. And that's something that no one would ever want to talk about. Because some of these visuals can be so strong, because they're visual, that it might give you a panic attack. And no one talks about that stuff. So I just want people to know that you know, I've dealt with that stuff. And I think you know, I came out the other side, and I'm still here. And life really isn't that bad. Like, you know, all things said and done. So, yeah. You know, there are tricks to this trade of being a visual thinker. What helped you? One of the things that helps the most, certain ideas relative to meditation, like you are not your thoughts. You are the observer of your thoughts. Your thoughts are a happening. Okay. And so visual thoughts can be a happening as well. You know, you can choose to have certain visual thoughts, like think of an apple. Okay, good job. But your, your mind and your ego is also just like rain or the sound of your house creaking. It will just randomly have ideas and they're not you. That's a concept that's very hard for us, you know, for people to understand, myself included. Uh, but when you start to figure it out and feel it a little bit, you're like, oh, yeah, these visuals and these ideas and thoughts, they actually have... They're, they're just happenings. They're not, they're not you. I don't know. Um, so then, yeah, that, that, that just really helps to remove, really helps to show you that it's just an illusion. Uh, don't get me wrong. You know, you still become identified with feelings and thoughts. That concept isn't understood almost at all. That you are the observer of your thoughts. You are not your thoughts. And only when you identify with your thoughts will you truly become overwhelmed by them. Once you understand that, to the degree that the visual thoughts will affect you, goes down dramatically.